Welcome back to the Who Dreams. We're targeting Canada soccer and U.S. soccer. And today, we've long, been long overdue for something Canada-related. So here we are, nonetheless. I think I might have found the perfect video topic for you all. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. I think it's pretty interesting. There's an article I'm going to read to you guys about it, too, as well. as We're going to try and get to know this player more. I'm pretty sure many of you guys heard about him already, but many of you probably not. His name is Marcelo Flores. And... Recently, you know, he's eligible for three countries, Mexico, Canada, of course, he's born on Canadian soil, not too far over here in uh, Halton Hills, about two, uh, two hours away from Toronto. Um, and of course, um, right now he represents um, Mexico, but he's also eligible for England too. So he's got some options to play with here. But nonetheless, as I said, he is representing Mexico currently, but he's only 18 years old and he's not capitized. So he can still change his mind and decide to represent his home country if he wants. But at the moment, I believe in the article, which I'm going to read to you guys, he did say that he right now feels comfortable representing Mexico, although he is still open to change. So we've got an interesting topic to you today. And then I didn't really come across this one until like I was just scrolling through Instagram feed and um, I saw something in Spanish and it had, you know, this image right here with the caption. And, um, you know, I said they want to steal it. They said, Marcelo Flores will be caught up to, for a microcycle training camp with Canada, and they want to convince him to try with the Canadians' biggest national team, uh, the best of the best of the world. So this was interesting to me as, um, you know, basically Mex the Mexican media as well, the, um, wherever they're getting there from, they said they want to quote-unquote steal him, which in this case Canada won't be really be stealing him as he was born on Canadian soil, so... That's already a red flag right there for me. I mean, because how can you steal someone that's been born on your own home turf? So, <laughs> if anything, the Mexican national team are the ones stealing him, given that he was born on this home soil. So, interesting take there by the Mexican media. But okay, oh okay. Um, nonetheless, I think it's going to be an interesting topic for you guys. So here we are. Um, I have an article with you guys to read today, and it's on. Um, titled uh, Marcelo Flores, this is all the way back from November 15th, 2021, but given the recent Instagram posts, I figured that this is still kind of relevant, so here you go, and it's got to be most interesting as well, but Marcelo Flores says, I want to go to Canada to choose if they, or Mexico, I don't know how they titled that, but um, it is about Marcelo Flores, but here we are, so here's the article, it is not hearsay or an in, um, invention. Uh, said from the voice of Marcelo Flores' placeholder image. Uh, the, great jewel, the great jewel of Arsenal, by the way, um, he currently plays for Arsenal. Forgot to give you guys a little background of that, um, but I'll do that after I read this segment. He currently plays for Arsenal um, and currently plays for the Mexican national team in lower categories. Are you willing to go to Canada to sound out their project and then decide whether to play with them or L3? Now, before I even get to the rundown, I'm going to try and get to share with you guys a couple um, information I found on him. And this is really interesting, you know, because Marcelo Flores, he was called reportedly back earlier this year into 2021 USMNT's camp. And then, um, so in my notes, yeah, you, you, I told you guys he was born in Haunting Hills, uh, about an hour and a half or so away from here. Um, pretty close to the GTA, but not quite the GTA. Um... And, you know, he's 18 years old, as they, as they said, you know, and he currently plays for Arsenal in their youth academy. So that's something that's interesting, too. And he, he's awfully, often touted as the next superstar, the next wonder kid, Alfonso Davies player. So this is why Canada and Mexico are especially in the race to get this kid. Although England, too, but England, I guess, to a lesser extent, since they have a, they already have an enormous amount of talent. So, um, but, yeah, he is said to be the next wonder kid. As he's already um, he's representing Mexico at the moment, but he's not capped high, as I said. But because um, he's yet to play a major competition, but he has played a friendly against uh, Chile, where he came off the bench in the 81st minute. But that game ended 2-2. He didn't really score or really do anything big, but he did represent L3 there. And um, this is what I'm going to continue on the article where they give their stuff. So he said, of a Mexican father and a Canadian mother, the young flowers uh, who can also play for England talked to at halftime and said that uh, he has not decided to be a Mexican player at the higher level yet because he uh, will seek 
to be the best professional and professionally um, with the advice of his family. Kind of weirdly uh, worded article here, but I'm we'll do my best. So if it seems a little choppy, that's why I'm make sure I'm not seeing this right. Um, I'm gonna continue. I wanted to see the process of the Mexico uh, of Mexico because part of my family is Mexican, and for me, it is important to represent my family and the country. That's why I chose Mexico first. But I am free for the other countries and decide. Uh, commented on the promising footballer at halftime. Um, he said, having in Diego Abru, one of his best friends, and who curiously can choose another country, Uruguay, and not Mexico, the talented Flores said that he was very happy to put on the national jersey because he felt that uh, he represents a good part of this with his family, given that you know he has Mexican descent with his family, and um, he feels that he's playing for his dad, in other words. But at the same time, you guys heard what I said and read. Uh, he's still open to changing his mind, so it's not set in stone yet. And um, things are still happy, so. But he does say, if I continue here, I am very happy and very comfortable in the Mexican national team. When I started coming to Mexico, everyone received me very well. Right now, I am in a very good process with the Mexican team, the national team. My father is very proud of me, of course, because I represent the country and a large part of my family that is Mexican, said the midfielder. That is part of the uh, of the tree that uh, disputes the, Re the Revelations Cup in our own country. And they already said Mar Tata Martino have already spoken with the father of Mesolo Flores trying to convince him to play for the national team and commit. And he says with just 18 years of age, Flores Dario revealed that his father already has spoken with Ger Gerardo Martino, coach of the Mexican national team, and stressed that he feels more comfortable playing on the international stages than at the club level. In addition to highlighting what is the biggest difference of his teammates from Tree, who are also active, and him and plays in Europe with Arsenal at English highest level. And then finally, we go to the big question, which the article addresses. Which team will Marcelo Flores play for? And he says, once again, he's eligible to play for England, Canada, and Mexico are the three main countries that Marcelo Flores uh, plays home or image can represent as a professional football player. Remember that his father is Mexican and his mother's Canadian. Of course, he being born on Canadian soil himself. But England may be somewhere his mother's roots probably trace back to England, which is why. So the England part is uh, interesting, but it's mainly between Canada and Mexico, which they're both fighting for. Uh, whoever manages to convince him and his family that they should call up from a higher level and give him minutes in an, art, in an official match so that it is officially blocked to the rest of the nations and possibilities. So we've got a decision to make here. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the article. But I wanted to cover that because, you know, it's really interesting. And, you know, once again, we got Canada and Mexico both battling for this guy. And he's being touted as the next... Wonder Kid, the next uh, possibly Alfonso Davies, although, you know, and he's already playing for Arsenal, at England's top player, or one of England's top levels at a young age, so, and he's not cap tied either, so, now at the time, I'll say for John Herbman, this would be a great idea to put pressure on this kid, I mean, it really would be a great lockdown, I mean, I think he's a midfielder, but, um, or a striker, he's definitely a uh, attacker, but I think he would definitely add to Canada's attack, and possibly, open up some more options for unlocking the uh, other team and so this is definitely in my opinion a definitely must go after for John Herdman in terms of securing these dual nationalities you know he's obviously if you get him you know I think he'll open up the doors and provide as I said more opportunities for this team to excel and I mean who why wouldn't you want this kid I mean this guy seems really awesome you know I've watched him play a little bit you know he's really he can really seem like a threat at times even if, even if he's a super sub, you know, he's still training, as I said, with Arsenal. So, I mean, this kid, honestly, I think he's legit. And, honestly, Canada should go after him with all their might and really try and lock this guy down and really steal him, steal him from Mexico, right, even though he was already born on Canadian soil. So, I don't know what they would be stealing if you're Canada. So, oh, well. But, hopefully, Canada will take this guy from Mexico and convince his... Uh, family, specifically his mother, that he should represent his home country and his home soil, but that's on him, that's on his decision to make, you know, we'll see how, how that shakes out down the line, 
But right now, as it stands, he is comfortable with playing with the Mexican national team, and his father is obviously very happy and impressed. And obviously, he looks to keep excelling with them as Tata Martino obviously wants to have him, given that Mexico is trying to rebuild and trying to become relevant again in terms of CONCACAF after the United States kind of really just owned them in 2021. So they're trying to rebuild and they're trying to take all the pieces they can get, dual nationalities for both American and Canadian players, Mexicans. And, you know, they're trying to take everything they can get. But if I'm Canada, I would try and get Marcelo Flores to really commit for this team, given how the different options he could provide for this team and given the different ways that this team could excel. So if I'm John Herdman, I would say it's a no-brainer that you should go after this guy and try and get him to play, you know, Convince him that you get to play with Alfonso Davies, Jonathan David, uh, Buchanan, you know, so Tejon Buchanan, you know, Kyle Aaron, you know, and the list goes on. You got all these great players already for the Canadian national team that he'll get to play with. So, and from John Harmon, lastly, go for him. You know, lock this guy down. Make him part of the team. But for that, that pretty much does it for this. You know, I wanted to give a Canadian video because it's been a while. You know, I did the recent... Um, I did the recent important dates, so I was kind of Canadian and American related, but this one is purely Canadian related, given that the other ones have kind of been in between, and given that recently I'm going to post to a USMNT January camp video, and I'm still waiting, so this was kind of like the Canadian January camp video, because nothing, I haven't really heard any significant news, although they are currently training at BMO Field here in Toronto, home of TFC, so... You know, they're getting ready for Hamilton, the big game against the United States and Panama. And, of course, I believe um, Honduras. So they're training there. But other than that, no really big, giant news out of the um, Canadian January camp. Other than just your normal players, Alfonso Davies, Jonathan David, are all, and all your typical players returning and just buckling down for another um, hard fault, what looks like it's going to be important, crucial World Cup qualifying window. But this was the closest news I can give you, and I'm glad I was able to find something that was related to Canada. Rather, that way it wasn't be all U.S. and in between. So I want to keep things mixed up. So um, that was that for the Canada video. But a couple other announcements I do have after this one. There will be a USMNT January Camp um, domestic players video posted. And then recently the U.S. women's national team just released their roster for their um January camp down in Austin at Q2 Stadium, home of Austin FC. So I'll be doing that. I'll see if I can cover them all today. And then if I have time, um, I will try and make a, um, it's probably be tomorrow's video, but I still need to make that trade, important trade video. So that'll be another neutral video for both US and Canada. Important players that have already been traded to Europe and other bigger clubs. So we've got a boatload of videos coming and my goodness, we're in. Um, I'm in crunch time trying to make these videos for you all. But nonetheless, here's an interesting video for about Marcelo Flores and the battle between Canada and Mexico to try and win this guy. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about it. Also, tell all your friends that Marcelo Flores is in a battle with Mexico and Canada. And John Hurtman, follow him. And if you're him, you should lock this player down immediately as he can be all important for Canada's upcoming continued growth.